everyone hope you are well today's video is going to be a clothing haul or a plus size clothing haul it's basically a collective clothing haul that i've got over the past few months because i'm going on holiday i'm going to be going to corfu so i thought i'd do this because i've never really uploaded well i have uploaded clothing haul once but it wasn't really like a summary type of one for like holidays and what have you. I was going to do a try on haul, um, which is something completely out of my comfort zone. I've never done it on here. But <laughs> I was going to, I was planning on doing it, but my speedy Gonzale of a mother has already started washing the clothes, even though we're going away in August. So some of them have got tags on, some of them haven't because they've already been in the washing machine and dried and what have you and they're all ready to be ironed and packed um, I'm surprised she hasn't even started packing now two months before but hey if you hear any like screams noises whatever I've got my window open and the last time that I had my window open while recording I had some kids and oh, other noises happen see what I mean about the noises <laughs> but yeah without further ado let's get into the video so i'm gonna start off with the first thing that's on the pile <laughs> um i ain't got any, any order to this i'm not even warning properly yet and already i've got my ear running so the first thing that i got are these denim shorts now some people are like they're not shorts they're crop pants um they're knee shorts and the reason why i don't get like shorts that come here is one because i'm not that comfortable in myself yet maybe one day and two because of the chub rub aka chafing it drives me insane because when i sweat my legs friction and this might be to your mind but i chafe a lot when i've got when i'm wearing shorts like there's a i was saying to my friend there's a footage of me walking like a penguin because i was chafing one day when i was last on holiday so yeah so going abroad and wearing short shorts and chafing doesn't sound good and to be honest they are so comfy because i i've tried everything on this time around and they are so comfy they're just these comfy knee shorts denim uh, i'm obviously <laughs> I'm obviously not showcasing them well. It would be a lot better if they, um, if I was doing a try and all. But again, these have been washed. I've just nabbed these off the off the maiden. I got these from Pep and Co. Oh, and they were seven pounds. These are just the same thing, like same as the last one. They are knee shorts, but I've got them in light blue. My mum has got them as well, but in the darker blue. So there's many different colours. There's, I think there's black, this colour and then another blue that you can choose from. So again, Pep and Co, £7, super comfy, jobs are good in. So the next thing that I got is a white shoulder top. Again, this is from Pep and Co. This was £6, I love the detailing on this and it's so versatile, like it can be in an evening top and it can be... A daytime top this one's still got the tag on i got another shoulder top um but this time i got it pink and it's got these little bobble pom-pom things at the bottom of this again this is so super versatile i can wear it for evening and during the day and it's quite long as well when i was looking in primark um they were some of them were like the crop and i'm not that confident with crop tops as I'll tell you in, a, in later on but these they're nice and flowy and I feel like it'd be super nice for when you're abroad again this is from Pep and Co it is five pound I think yeah it's five pound these are quite different to what I usually go for I just go for plain Jane stuff and stay nice and safe I thought I'd experiment on this for my holiday clothes and you know be a bit different again these are from pep and co um and these are these black and white patterned pants i thought they were quite different and it's like i, I, I compare that white shoulder top with it again for like an evening and i could wear them during the day and i've tried them on and they are so comfortable they're like pajama bottoms like i feel like i'll be wearing these a lot to be honest <laughs> 
when I'm away um, and I just can't wait to wear them when I'm on holiday. I think this, doing this is getting me excited for going away to be honest, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but and they are uh, these oh, long pants bear wave I've only got short arms good job I've shaved today isn't it otherwise you would have seen a ginger bush <laughs> okay and these are 10 not 10 pound that's 10 euro mm. these are 8 pound so these are very nice and I feel like they're going to be my new faves I I do have a swimsuit from Pep and Co, but I can't seem to find it. When I was in Primark, the sizing put me, threw me off because I'm so used to just getting a 20 uh, and then being on my jolly way. But I went over and they were like, it said 2XL. So I was like, uh, all I want is a 20. And yeah, it proper confused me. So I just picked up the biggest size to be honest because it threw me under the bus. Everyone's seen a pair of leggings before. Um, yeah, I'll probably just wear these for travelling to be honest because they're quite handy like that. I've got two hers, if I can find the other one. There we go, there's the other one. thought that was a hole then but no, it was just a lip. <laughs> I was like, you what? <laughs> Even though I've had that before where I picked up a pair of leggings and I put them on they've had a massive hole in it I'm like well I can't wear them now can I no obviously these haven't been washed because they've still got the label on them so I got two pairs and they were three pound each I got this vest top I'm a bit fussy when it comes to vests because especially in Primark because the mate ones that are kind of like clingy and I don't like that because I don't want me lumps and bumps and nuts and crannies on shore all the time so I just got a few that kind of they look baggy and comfortable. So the first one that I got, which I had to get, uh, is this grey vest. It's got a cat on it with the slogan "Me Out," and this was two pound fifty. I got another vest, and I like the detail detailing on this one. It's just this pink um, vest got the word off tank if you're in America but to me it's the best and I just like these little detailing on him which is on the sleeves and on the back and I thought baby pink was a different colour for me and this was three pound again I got another vest from Primark um it is this teal aqua colour this was three pound I just like the detailing of it and the cut. I just imagined wearing it when I've got a bit of sun on my chest. My little boobies that are not so little and I just thought it would look quite cute and quite amazing. Um because <laughs> my boobies are not amazing but they're nice amazing. <sighs> Basically I think it'll look good with my boobs. <laughs> I got another vest from Primark. Um I thought this was quite cute. This one hasn't been washed because it's got the tag still on it, like the last one. Um, but it's just this polka dot one. It's not black, but it's a navy blue. This was £2.50. Don't laugh at me, but I got this white top. Um, I thought it was cute. It was, it's got this little detailed um, lacy type pocket. And it's got the same on the shoulders, which has got me over on it already. <laughs> and yeah I just thought it was really cute this came up to three pound now the reason why I said don't laugh at me is because if you look here it says love to lounge if you're aware with Primark like if you go there regularly you'll know that love to lounge <laughs> is Primark's pyjama like range so strictly speaking <laughs> This is a pyjama top. I thought I could get away with wearing it like every day. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be abroad, out and about, wearing a pyjama top. And I don't care. <laughs> Again, from Primark, I got this, this top here, which is, it's white. Well, it is white, but not really white, if you know what I mean. And it's got these little red love hats on now <laughs> i got this because to me this looked like a full length top 
but I didn't take into account my boobs <laughs> because I've got quite biggish boobs when I wear a top it obviously the top has to go over them therefore it lifts it up a bit I'm not that com comfortable with wearing crop top and that's just me personally obviously if you want to wear a crop top you wear a crop top I'm not in that stage where I can go out wearing a crop top yet I don't know why it's just it's a process isn't it so I was a bit gutted really but I, the reason why I'll be taking it with me anyway is because it'd be handy for like wearing over my swimsuit this was six pound that's it like everyday clothes wise so all that's left now is pajamas um these have already been washed again so there's no tag on them i don't think i don't know the price of these ones because these were i got these ages ago they are lion king pajamas these are the shorts they're very similar to ones i've already got to be honest they're just um black and white um i actually got the other ones in my last clothing haul <laughs> and this is the top that goes with it again i'm sorry i do not know the price of this set i just know it was from primark um but it's a cute little pj set this is a weird one because i've got the price tag for these shorts which are just navy stripy shorts navy blue and white stripe stripe shorts and the tag on here said they were six pound so i don't know if that means it was six pound for the full set or if it was just for these shorts the vest top that goes with them which i don't know if it's a part of the set or if it's bought separately like i just say it's navy blue white with genie on the top and the reason why i've got that is because robin williams plays genie in the in, I don't know if he plays all the plays Genie in all of them, but he definitely played Genie in the first one. And Robin Williams was one of my favourite actors. He died on my birthday and I cried like I lost my granddad. I couldn't get over it for a few days. This is a vest. Again, this is from a pajama section of Asda, but I just thought it was quite cute how it was black and it's baggy and it's got this little pattern detailing of the stitching on here and then it's got these little tassels on there as well and this was six pound and it's quite cute really another vest top that i got from asda which is actually a vest top it's not a pajama top don't worry <laughs> this is another like pattern type top and i thought this was quite cute again it could be passed as like an evening top as well um or an everyday this will this will also go well with my, my shorts and a few other things this says it's five pound so it was five pound for this uh little vest oh god this vest again from asda now this is a bit of a a different one for me but it is a dress and didn't think i would get a dress when i first started but i thought what the hell um it's quite nice this is the front of it it's hard to show you without doing a try on haul uh, but the cut is very different and to be honest it's not that long like that's the longest it is it's like in the middle between short and long like it's not too long but it's not too short and this was 18 pound and i like the color of it and the blue i went into bon marche now <laughs> shortly speaking this shop mainly caters for older women but there is a few like nicer stuff in there the first thing that i got is a pair of jeans i love the material of this it's like it's a jean and jegger material in one but it's got a pocket still got the pockets and it's still got the button the buckle thing whatever you want to call it but what i like about this is it's got like an elastic it's quite stretchy and it is straight leg because i think i've discovered that i don't like skinny jeans whatsoever they just don't suit me and i hate putting them on and i feel like when i'm on i'm wearing like a corset but for my legs um so i end up walking around like dead stiff because i can't bend or anything the one thing that i do recommend with these type of jeans if we're going to get from bon Marche, is even though they are stretchy um i do recommend sizing up these jeans are 16 pound you should be proud of me as well i actually tried clothes on 
in the fitting rooms that is a big deal for me because i've not been in the fitting rooms for like five years and the reason why is because i was dead self-conscious and i feel like i used to try and close and if they didn't fit me i'd be all like oh well here we go i'm getting fatter <laughs> put the jeans down i'd be getting fatter i'm quite proud of myself for going in and actually trying stuff on because usually i just take it on if it don't fit and then return it rather than actually trying clothes on then and there which is so much easier i got these shorts from bon marche they are these polka dot shorts and it comes with this little belt that you can tie and i tried these on in the shop and oh my god majority of my time was trying to tie it up to as nice as it was in the in the shop did i don't know how to tie it to make it look so nice like i was tying it how you do a shoelace and i was like that looks horrible <laughs> again the these are knee shorts um now i wanted some shorts that work denim just so they're co more comfortable and a bit more flowy um and these are definitely lightweight but uh the non-stretchy material again i definitely remain recommend with this type of material that you size up again these were 16 pound the next thing is another pair of shorts to be honest these look quite big um but these are knee shorts again these are more like pajama bottom material and that's why i think i'd really like them because it's like they'd be handy for when i'm gonna wear them on top of swimming suit just to throw them on and throw them back off again and when i'm also just lounging around the the apartment and i don't want to get my denim shorts on um i can just chill in these so we've got these little daisy stuff on these are from a shop called yours which is a plus size shop and these were 15.99 so like 16 pound again and the last thing clothes wise that i got um is again from a shop called yours and these are very similar to the other pants that i've already got they're so comfy like pajama bottoms again and again, these are very versatile like them. Um, I can wear them during the day. I can wear this with my like pink top and what have you. Um, and then I can wear them in the evening. They are these long pants with little polka dot um, design on them. They have pockets. And these were 21 99 So that's it, clothes wise. The rest are from Primark now. And they're just shoes and little accessories. And I say accessories, but I've only got one. These are the sunglasses that i got they're very similar to my old ones these were three pound this is what they look like on i am in love with them to be honest the rest that i've got left is shoes these are six pound and they're just like white they're not pumps but they're like trainer type but they're not trainers either but they they are more trainer than like converse type shoes it's just got this pink bottom rim whatever you want to call it again these are white shoes these are more the converse type i took the price tag off but these are six pound now these are completely different to what they only go for because they are slip-on shoes and already i've got hers in the inside of them on the back they've got these little gold studs um and i thought these would be handy for like flying and these were eight pound and that's it from the primark shoes and the next ones i had to spend a lot on and to be honest they are really expensive i never thought i would own a pair of these before but thanks to shane dawson and what have you i got me some gucci slides i'm just kidding the primark <laughs> i'm basic these are Primark slides. Um, I got these because I, I didn't want flip flops to go around the pool in. So I got these instead. Um, and I can wear them as evening stuff because it's got these little studs on. I can wear these with these pants and that pink vest top. You get me? That is it for my little clothing haul. Haul malarkey. Anyone that is struggling with body image issues, um, I've been there and I'm definitely thinking of doing a video on it. All I can say is it just takes going on a road. It sounds cliche, but going on a road of self-love and self-discovery is really important because at the end of the day, no one's gonna love you if you don't love yourself. You will wait to yourself at the end of the day to feel confident and feel sexy, if you wanna go that far, but to, just to feel at peace with yourself you owe that to yourself more than anything in the world and if anyone has got anything to say with it just give them the old finger 
the sausage finger, just give it them. Because who cares? If they're too bothered commenting on other people's lives, it just shows what type of person they are at the end of the day and how much really they're insecure about themselves that they have to comment about other people. Thank you so much for watching and you shall see me in my next video. Goodbye! Pranak. <laughs> I thought the water knocked down then. But it was some of it. I'll find out when I watch the video. That's <laughs> enjoy side in this bed. Trying to holler at me. You better still be recording, matey. I've got a thumbnail to do, don't you know? Alright, fuck off then. You wanna get off that much? <laughs> Better be recording now. Because if I'm falling like a muppet and it's not recording, I'm gonna scream. How do people hold back when they're doing the thumbnail? Because I have no bloody. Be tops riding down, I don't have any free. Just so I'm not. My bra shut down, can't have that in a thumbnail, can I? Oh my god, my window changes colour, it's like it's on a light.